as Garner Legends. We've got some drop A riffs. We're going to use the harmonic minor, Phrygian, Egyptian style, Nile style. To me, this is like the pentatonic of death metal. I'm definitely addicted to this scale and just trying to always experiment variations of it, different combinations of the notes to try to come up with my own riffs, patterns and ideas. So here's a riff I've written with it. The other day we did an Egyptian style one drop A and it was had the which was you know five six nine and then the rest of the notes but I've gone the more harmonic minor but then what I've done is switch up the notes a little because normally to be but I'm like but you know rambling on now let's just crack on with the riff I've written I've got tabs for it so you can figure this one out so let's crack on with it so here's the riff the riff and as always we're going to try to expand on this idea I always start with something simple and this is how I literally will write things I have this harmonic or melodic idea I can hear the notes and then I'll like move patterns around you know if we even give the one of my first things I'm going to try to do is move it back one fret so it's the taking the second part of the you can start messing with uh, different picking styles. Just try grab any note, you might like the sound of it. So back to the actual pattern we're using, and you know, you got it hanging on, that note. Now a simple thing we could do where that note's hanging on, we've got a lot of space, room there, we could get some chugs going in that one. Throw in some tremolo picking after the chugs. Little pinch harmonic action, so you know. get the idea I just start improvising try to find where I feel like I'm locking in but it's all starting with that simple idea even when I went for the I'm still basing it around the yeah I'm just rearranging those notes and this is how a simple scale and just using these notes that 
that's all I'm using there. So the scar would be. And then. But I've given you the tabs for just the riff that I've created. And this is what I'll do. I'll just have a pattern like that where it's See, even that's working. I'm like, that sounded pretty cool. Speed it up a bit, you know. We haven't even introduced the heart, you know, the octave chords. I'm also showing you now the improvisation process because this is a, a huge part to riding riffs or just having fun with it, creating your sort of own style. Instead of just having these basic scales and patterns, you know, what are you going to create? Where does this even come from? Where do these ideas come from? Obviously, you just listen to lots and lots of music. And the more that you listen to riffs and you blast beats, double kicks, you hear other people with the way they chug, you know. See, I'm just, it, but trying to be as expressive as I can be and having the tools ready to go. And that would be your tremolo picking, your palm muting, your knowing patterns. It's all good to know all your scales and patterns. Also knowing where the notes are on your neck. That's what other lessons I try to do. It's trying to just open up this fretboard and then realizing, okay, where's your strengths, where's your weaknesses? Always keep your strengths working on those, but then if you want to improve, you've got to find your weaknesses and find ways to improve and then hone in on those practice tips, techniques, you know, start analyzing how you're holding the pick, how your muscles are feeling, posture, all of these little nuances that go into playing the guitar. And it's never ending for me. And I've been at it for over 30 years and it's just so addictive and I love it. So, hey. Crack on with the one I've got the tabs for. If you would like more information, all these tabs, I've also got a Patreon account. Thank you to my existing Patreon members. I really appreciate the support. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed, likes, comments on the videos and helping the channel grow and encouraging me to keep going. So until next time, take care of yourself. Keep smashing out those riffs. I'll see you in the next one. Catch us later.